The following is a related rates problem. The radius of a circle is decreasing at a constant rate of 0.1 centimeters per second. In terms of the circumference c, what is the rate of change of the area of the circle in square centimeters per second? This is a related rate problem because we have rates over time. Centimeters per second is a rate. Not only that, but we want to find the rate at which one of our lengths or some thing, area here, is changing. That is how you know that you have related rates. So the first step to any related rate problem is create a model for what you have. We want to find the rate of change of the area of a circle. Before we can find the rate of change of the area of a circle, we first have to find the area of a circle, which we all know is pi r squared. Now, this area is changing over time. That's why its derivative is in terms of square centimeters, that's the area, per second. That's the dt down below. So really what we're solving for is we're solving for dA dt, the derivative of area with respect to time t. What that means is we're going to treat all of our variables as functions of time. As this circle decreases, our area also decreases. Likewise, our radius decreases over time. So area really is a function of time. Likewise, our radius is also a function of time. So when we take the derivative of area, we're taking the derivative of area with respect to time t. That's dA dt, which means that a is stuff. a is a function of t. r is also stuff. r is also a function of t. So we also have to use chain rule for r. In reality, this is another type of implicit differentiation. So when we take the derivative of a with respect to t, we get dA dt. The derivative of pi stuff squared is 2 pi times stuff times the derivative of the stuff. And the derivative of r with respect to t is dr dt. So we have now taken the derivative of all of our variables with respect to time t. Now we want to know in terms of the circumference c. Now what is c? c is equal to 2 pi r. <gasps> Look at here, we have a 2 pi r in here. So why don't we just put 2 pi r as c. So now we have dA over dt is equal to c times dr dt. Now they gave us some more information that the radius of our circle is decreasing at a constant rate of 0.1 centimeters per second. Well, the radius of the circle is r, and decreasing means that r is changing. This is the rate of change of r. In reality, what they've given us here is dr dt. And of course, dr dt is decreasing, sorry, r is decreasing, which means that dr dt is negative. Furthermore, it's negative 0.1 centimeters per second. So we can just plug this into our model right here. So now we have dA over dt is equal to c times negative 0.1. Now the question is, in terms of the circumference c, what is the rate of change of the area of the circle? Well, the rate of change of the area of the circle is negative 0.1 c. And our units, a is in terms of centimeters squared, and t is in terms of seconds. So negative 0.1 c centimeters per second.
So let's go through this whole process one more time to see what we did here. We noted what we have to solve for. We are solving for the rate of change of the area of a circle. That is dA dt. Now in order to get dA dt, we first have to find a model for the area of a circle. Well, there's only one model that I know about, which is a equals pi r squared. So this is a very nice model here because they also gave us the rate of change of the radius of the circle. Well, we have a radius inside of this model right here. So when we take the derivative with respect to time t, we're going to get a dr dt out of here, which is exactly what happened. Now, they told us that we want to have the rate of change of the area in terms of the circumference c. Well, the circumference is just 2 pi r. And of course, that came out very nicely in the derivative of a. So I just replaced 2 pi r with c. And then I used the other information, which is that dr dt is negative 0.1 centimeters per second, and I plugged that in. Why is it negative again? Well, if the radius is decreasing, that means that the slope of our radius is negative, which means that dr dt has to be negative. So if r is decreasing, dr dt has to be negative. And just by plugging th uh, things in, we figured out the rate of change of our area with respect to the circumference of the circle. Now the units are very simple. Take a look at your unit on top of your derivative. A is in terms of centimeters squared. T is in terms of seconds. So our final units are centimeters squared per second.